Hey, it's the Refine Reseller. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, you'll get tips, tricks, and advice on how to be the best eBayer you can possibly be. Today, I would like to share with you a very simple, free Excel spreadsheet that I have designed to keep track of my eBay sales, my eBay profit, and my eBay fees. Now, you may be using QuickBooks or Quicken or maybe GoDaddy, but if you're a new eBayer and you're not keeping track of what you are buying and selling and are looking for something that is free and very easy to use, this may be just exactly what you are looking for. So I'm going to show you just exactly how to build the spreadsheet that I have built. So let's go to my computer and take a look. But before, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is the spreadsheet that I have built. And here are the headers that I have. First, I have the date, then I have the item. Next, I have the transaction number, what I paid for the item, the price I sold the item for, what the buyer paid in shipping. I do not do free shipping. The buyer pays for shipping. I have a total here for what it sold for plus the shipping because this is what the eBay fee is based on. Then I have the actual shipping uh, cost for me. Then I have whether or not I made money or I lost money on the shipping. Then I have my eBay fees and I have whether or not I made a profit or a loss. You know, 100% of the time it's a profit. So maybe I should take loss off of here. Uh, I have to maybe reconsider that. So let me show you how I populate these cells and how I build formulas to make everything work. The first is the date. That's very easy. It is August 27th. Then I hit alternate tab and I'm going to my eBay seller hub. I went to orders. I went to all orders. And here are some items I sold recently. The first item up is this plaid folk art dimensional paint lot. So I'm going to go back to the spreadsheet and type in plaid paint lot. I do need to add the transaction number. And here's the transaction number right here. I simply double click it. I hit control C for copy. I'm using a PC, not a Macintosh. And I hit control V. And here is the transaction number. It looks kind of weird. So to get it correct, you have to highlight the cell, go to this drop down menu here where it says general and click fraction. And here is your transaction number. Next, I put in what I paid for the item. I paid $2 for it and I sold it for $6.99. So it sold for 6.99. Now, I charge for shipping for every item that I sell. I do not do free shipping. So now I have to go back and get the actual shipping charge. So I go back here. I'm going to say it weighs 10 ounces. Going to click update. And the cost for the shipping, I am slip, shipping out United States Postal Service first class package. It is $4.08. So let's go and type 4.08. So now I've got to figure out if I had a shipping loss or a shipping gain. Basically to do that, I just have to click this box right here. I have to go up here. I have to click the equal sign. So we're going to go to equals what the buyer paid minus sign what the actual shipping was and click enter. I lost 13 cents on shipping. Next, I need to calculate what the eBay fees are. Well, I used to have to calculate it. Now with managed payments, I am on managed payments. I switched over from PayPal about three weeks ago and I am really liking it because now I can just go to managed payments and it shows me exactly what my eBay fee was. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to click alternate tab, go back to my uh, eBay page. I have to go back to seller hub. And here I am at Seller Hub and I need to go to Payments. I'm going to click the Payments tab and it's going to call, come up and I need to click All Transactions. So let me click this and you can see right here, it's showing me that my fee to sell this Plaid Folk Art Paint Lot was $1.56. So let's go back to my spreadsheet. I'm going to click 1.56. Now I have to figure out what my profit or loss was. If you are an experienced Excel user, I apologize for going slowly here. But if you are new to Excel, this is a little complicated, so I'm going to go slow. 
The first thing you do, of course, is you click the cell beneath profit or loss. Then you click the equal uh, button. Next, you do need to do open parentheses and you need to add all of the money you took in. So I sold the item for $6.99. I highlight that cell. Then I have to click the plus button and I have to add my shipping loss or gain. I'm going to click this cell right here and I'm going to do close parentheses. Next, I need to subtract all of my expenses. So I'm going to click the minus button and I'm going to click the open parentheses again. Next, I need to click how much I paid out and I paid $2 for the item. Next, I need to add my eBay fees. So I click this button right here. That is what I paid in eBay fees. I simply click the close parentheses button and I click enter. So I made $3.30 on this item. So that's basically how it's done. I do do some other stuff to kind of clean up this spreadsheet. The first thing that I do is I click the button in the left hand corner right above the one and next to the A that highlights all of the cells. Then I come over here and I can click any line between any letter, double click it, and it's going to make these uh, cells fit to where they're supposed to be fit. The other thing I do is I like to have everything um, centered. So uh, I'm going to click the center button right here. Now everything is centered as you can see. The only thing that I don't like is instead of $2 here, it has a two. So I can click this and I can click this number right here. Um, it should have been just one time and it makes it $2. Same thing with here. It's 3.3. .3. I like it to say $3 and 30 cents. Now there are some other columns that I do add. The first column is my uh, average uh, price paid, average price paid. So I put average paid and I put my average profit as well. So in order to do that, I need to add another item. So let me go ahead and do that. So it's August 27th. I'm just gonna go control copy. This is August 27th. I'm gonna make this very simple. I'm going to put, um, Greg Norman shirt or just Greg Norman. Um, I am going to say, I don't know what the item is at this point because I haven't sold it yet, but I'm going to say I paid $5 for it. I'm going to sell it, sell it for $20 and 55 cents. The paid shipping was 5.65. Here's a combination of the sold plus the shipping. All I have to do is click this cell here and simply drag it down and it's going to add this number and this number. My actual shipping cost was $4.50. Again, to get that calculation, I just click this, drag this down, and I made $1.15 on shipping. My eBay fees, my total sold and shipping was $26.20. I pay about 11%, so I'm going to say my cost for this, my eBay fee was $2.95. And again, to figure out my profit loss, all I have to do is click this cell, then drag it down, and it's going to calculate this for me. So I made $13.75 on my Greg Norman shirt. So let's so. go further. I am going to click this cell here. I'm going to click Auto Sum, and it's going to add these uh, two cells for me. The total I have paid so far is $7.00. I'm going to simply take this and drag it all the way across and it's going to add up all of these different columns. I paid $7 for everything. I sold it for $27.54. The paid shipping was $9.60. Sold and shipped was $37.14. Actual shipping was $8.58. So far I have made $1.02 on shipping. My eBay fees are $4.51 and my profit or loss so far is $17.05. I also do an average paid, so I basically come here, click this cell, I click the equal sign, and I click this, and I divide by the number of items sold. I'm going to divide that by two. That equals $3.50. Again, I wanna make this 50, so I click this button right here. That's $3.50. My average profit, again, equals $17.05 divided by two. My average profit per item sold is $8.52. There is not such thing as an 
and 52.5 cent. So I just come up here and I click this button on the left. I'm sorry, the button on the right, and it takes off that extra digit. So there you have it. There is my Excel spreadsheet. So that's all there is to it. It is a free Excel spreadsheet that I have made that you can use, again, absolutely free. However, Excel is not free. Excel is a part of Microsoft Office Suite and you do have to buy it. However, there is a very similar piece of software out there that is free that you can download and it's very similar to Excel. It is called LibreOffice, L-I-B-R-E. You can download it. Again, it will not cost you anything. It's not exactly the same as Excel, but it's very similar and you can figure out how to use it and kind of just do what I did in my Excel spreadsheet. That is it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and do like me, buy low, sell high. And once again, if you like this video, please subscribe and I will see you next time.